I wanted to do a follow-up video to the Tangerine Travels copyright scam video. I held back on certain things, but after reading the comments section, I've decided to clarify them. As I said in my last video, my original intent was just to make a video about the GoFundMe Disneyland issue. I contact May on January 27th. This is before I posted anything on TikTok or YouTube because I wanted the story to also reflect her side. She gave me a little spiel, but at the end she declined to comment and I politely said thank you. On the 28th, I post the first video. On the 1st of February, I post the last video that I was ever planning to do on this subject. You can see in the title, it says exposed finale. Next day is when things get weird. I'm in communication with both Jordan and May. We politely ask him to remove the clip where he states that women in Mexico are for sale. Jordan wanted the identity of everyone in the group in order to even consider removing that clip. I even explained to him that these group of women are concerned for their safety because whenever they try to voice their opinion against what Jordan has to say, they get attacked locally by his supporters. May also sends me messages asking me to delete the negative content about her. I let her know about the fair use law and let her know that if she is no longer a public figure, I would delete the content. She replies that she just wants me to delete the Disneyland photo. I refuse to tell Jordan the identity of the woman in Querétaro and I also decline May's request. In retaliation, the next day, Jordan starts his DMCA copyright takedown request. He abuses the YouTube reporting tool and instead of filing one takedown request with all six videos, he files three separate requests, which creates three strikes, automatically disabling my account. After I submit my counter to YouTube, YouTube sends my personal information to Jordan and he immediately starts telling people my personal information. With no regard to our safety, and I think that's what his purpose was, I don't believe he ever had an intent to follow through with a copyright lawsuit. He just wanted our personal identifying information. Yesterday, we were given his LLC business information for us to serve him. YouTube is not our professional career. We don't know how many more videos we'll be making, but if there's any updates, we'll put it in the community tab.